but uh, do you see the guys the guys who do the dirtiest job the toughest job in this field gets uh, the due from the market in the field of data we now see every day uh, a new technology is coming up a new terminology is coming up be it data warehouse or data lake or data science real time data batch data and it's very very confusing uh, to choose a role in the field of uh, data especially uh, these three prominent roles a data engineer versus a data analyst versus a data scientist because there are uh, subtle nuances which you need to understand in order to uh, you know take a decision where you know which particular role suits your profile and where you would want to go ahead in your career hello friends welcome to itk funde your own channel where we make it interesting for everyone and in this video let's get started with our comparison of these three data roles thank you friends if you are new to itk funde channel we make it interesting for everyone be it it or non it we discuss all the latest tools and technologies products productivity hacks and career tips on this channel so if you are new and if you like the content do consider subscribing thank you So friends as always let's start with a real life example let's take an example of a company called as Wonder Waters and this company specializes in uh, water collection and storage water filtration uh, building new water uh, products and also uh, managing water distribution to other uh, industries in Wonder Waters there are three employees uh, Dane Dana and Daisy and these three different employees may works in three different departments and have three different uh, responsibilities dane is responsible for water collection setting up all the water pipelines managing the quality of the water which is uh, getting into the uh, wonder waters uh, storage making sure the filtration is happening correctly and also uh, how the overall storage looks like within the wonder water premises Dana on the other hand uh, works on analyzing the you know water quality and different parameters uh, uh, of of the water like pH value of uh, of the water which is coming in uh, it uh, you know Dana also specializes in finding new water products and uh, you know uh, recommending new water products what kind of water products uh, you know can be built uh, if asked by the business uh, Dana also works on uh, analyzing the current demands of uh, these uh, water products like suppose there is a packaged water uh, drinking water bottle which uh, wonder water sells then what is the demand of this particular water in the in the market by analyzing the different data which is coming from the actual uh, data which is coming from um, you know dane as well as uh, you know combining this data with uh, the sales uh, pipeline and uh, analyzing that what is the current demand of uh, the new or existing water products Daisy uh, you know has been asked to build a model uh, which can predict the health benefits of drinking wonder water uh, packaged water uh, by analyzing the data of uh, its existing customer uh, with with uh, some parameters and algorithms and statistical models which uh, Daisy would run uh, on the existing uh, customers so what Daisy would do Daisy would combine the demography data demography data of all their customers for the past 10 years uh, along with their health uh, related data and uh, all those customers who have been drinking a wonder water packaged water and then what kind of health benefits they have seen over the past 10 years and create a model which can predict that what could be the health benefits if you continue to drink or if some new customer comes in and drinks wonder water for next 5 years that particular uh, model will be built on all the data which will be fed uh from you know dane and maybe some analysis which will be shared by uh, dana so i think it's very very self explanatory what i was saying so far uh dane is our data engineer uh, dana is our data analyst and daisy is our data scientist and this is pretty much what uh, you know uh, these three different uh, roles uh, does in uh, any data project So now what we'll do we'll exactly go and pinpoint exact work which all these three different role uh, does in IT industry. So friends now let's understand what our Dane, Dana and Daisy actually does in their respective roles. To start with our data engineer as we discussed a data engineer is responsible to design build maintain uh, the data pipeline. 
they are the hard working guys working in the back end and they are the people who are responsible for all the amount of data which comes in so uh, the credit generally doesn't go to them uh, because they are not uh, facing the business but they are the most hard working uh, guys ensures that all the kind of data whatever is required for further analysis is being brought into in the correct format in the correct manner moving on a data analyst on the other hand inspect analyze model and transform the data and run analysis based on the business requirement so a data analyst would always work very very closely on a business requirement and the analysis whatever they will do will based on will be based on that for for example uh, suppose uh, the business comes and ask uh, a particular data analyst to identify that why the sales of their one specific product has been been dipping quarter on quarter from from this uh, fiscal year onwards and then the data analyst would ask data engineer to get all the data required and then they will maybe use some products some tools to uh, run that analysis and find out what could be the possible reasons and that's why uh, you know uh, the data analyst roles starts with a business problem if there is no business problem then there is no analysis so data analysis uh, base is based on a business problem so similar to data analyst data scientist also is trying to uh, solve a business problem but they do it in a different manner their approach is more exploratory and experimental in nature wherein they try to build a model which will eventually fix or solve that particular business problem and for that they use maths they use statistical models they use data science theorems like uh, random forest or there are different data science uh, theorems and algorithms which you can utilize and predict something in uh, in future and that that all depends on the kind and the quality of data you are getting from your data pipeline and based on that only you can run your statistical models so data scientist also works on a business problem but it is more predictive futuristic in nature and it is more based on maths and stats statistics so coming about the tooling part of it so uh, data engineers generally use python sql etl uh, tools like informatica sap data services no sql big data all these technologies are very very closely uh, uh, you know inclined towards uh, a data engineer profile so if we talk about data analyst data analyst majorly started working in excel when there were no such advanced tools but now you have uh, you know obviously sql knowledge is also paramount for a data analyst but now you have visualization tools where you can do the data exploration like tableau and power bi and if you talk about google cloud platform for which we are having a separate series going on you have google data studio a very good tool on google cloud platform coming to uh, data scientist as i said they should be good in math statistics but then they need python r and they need to know different data science theorems which are algorithms which they need to apply there are a number of uh, theorems and uh, suppose if you want to do something on neural networks then there are a different set of theorems so it's it's a, you know these kind of skill sets are required for a data scientist data engineers generally work in teams which are called as data ops which stands for data operations so they are the teams who does the dirty job and they 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 get their hands dirty they make sure that the data pipeline is intact the data is coming and not only coming uh, you know in in the right uh, manner they also need to ensure their the, the data is coming in right quality uh, the data is compliant with all the compliance which needs to be maintained maybe suppose if you have a google cloud data lake or any cloud platform if you have a data lake what if you know the data is non compliant to gdpr for example all those kind of things data engineers are responsible for a uh, data analyst as i said might be a person working sitting right next to the business because business analyst and data analyst these the roles are very very closely tied together sometimes business analyst transforms into a data analyst so yes they are the ones who work and they work on fixing the immediate business problem so uh, data scientist work uh, on a model which might predict and fix a problem in future but uh, uh, data analyst uh, you know this kind of a work is very very immediate in nature and obviously data scientists works in their own data science team so data science team is a well established unit wherein the data scientists work they do interact with business but they are not very closely working with business when compared to a data analyst 
Now coming to the big data aspect of it because all these roles came up when the big data was introduced in the world of IT because of the volume of the data we had you know different five V's of uh, big data which we uh, learned okay. So what are those five V's which defines uh, big data problems. So uh, you know volume, variety, velocity and veracity these four V's are maintained and you know made sure that these four V's are tackled by a data engineer because in big data you can have different volumes of data you can have billion of billions of records coming in right so that is calling for a volume uh, thing variety or you can have different kind of variety of data you can have data coming from excel or maybe teradata or maybe any kind of uh, real time uh, data coming from sensor devices so that's variety for you velocity as we say now we have real time sensor data coming in you might have data coming in every millisecond right so that kind of velocity uh, uh, data engineers needs to deal with when they are lining up their data pipeline and last but not the least is veracity veracity means the truthfulness of the data so how you would ensure that the data which you are feeding into your data lake or a data warehouse uh, through your data pipeline is actually the correct data and the intended data which would help a data analyst or a data scientist solve a business problem so they also need to do a lot of metadata management and data governance to ensure that the you know the correct data is being loaded into uh, the data lake for example so the fifth v of this uh, volume variety velocity and veracity is value and this fifth v is done and uh, uh, data scientist and data analyst are uh, responsible to deliver the value part of uh, five v's the fifth the fifth v is value so while the data engineer ensures that the four v's are delivered fifth v is the responsibility of data analyst and a data scientist now coming to the salary part of it now uh, guys I, please understand that this is these are just approximate figures which i have got from a re reputed site but this this figure is very limited to uk geography and it varies it varies every day okay so don't take it as a fixed number so this will give you an indication of what kind of salary packages are offered today and it will continue to change so uh, for around 49k uh, per annum is the package which uh, average salary package which we see uh, for a data engineer for data analyst it's 29 to 30k and for a data scientist again it is very close to a data engineers package which is 40 48k but uh, do you see the guys the guys who do the dirtiest job the toughest job in this field gets uh, the due from the market so if you are a data engineer you are you know quite uh, possibly uh, able to get a very good package from the market if you are getting into data engineering stream having said that all these packages are average approximate estimated figures which I have got I am not quoting it it is not these are not my numbers so take it uh, with that uh, perspective so now if we have to see the major uh, you know flow of you know any uh, data life cycle then you have data collection data prep and analysis visualization and exploration and experimentation and prediction so guys a data engineer sometimes goes and do a job of a data analyst a data scientist might go back and does a job of a data engineer it all depends on what kind of a team you have formed what kind of a business model you have but having said that that's why i have said that for the whole data life cycle uh, you know your data collection is primarily done by your uh, data engineers but there are times where your data analyst or data scientist might have to pitch in to do this kind of work data preparation and analysis is quite uh, closely tied to a data engineer and a data analyst role but yes data scientist also does it visualization and exploration is generally not touched by data engineers this is something which is very very focused around data analyst but sometimes data scientist also does this they create their own dashboards to see different kinds of metrics and uh, you know do some sort of a data analysis but it's majorly this area is belongs to data analyst and experimentation and prediction this is very very focused on data scientists because it needs uh, your expertise on a statistical analysis which generally data analyst and data engineers does not have 
so yeah this is this is the comparison which i see uh, differentiates these three different roles and now uh, you can understand which particular role uh, role suits your profile uh, suits your strengths so friends this brings us to the end of this video i hope you learned something from it if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you exactly know when i upload my next video do let me know your comments uh, your suggestions which helps me uh, learn new things and uh, share my knowledge with you so until next time please keep learning guys keep sharing all your knowledge with others and yes keep hustling bye for now